On the 20 slides shown below, I present the original photographs of the Second World War from the German archive, which are in my collection. These photos are from my collection department, Wehrmacht on the Eastern and Western Fronts. If you like it, subscribe to my YouTube, like it, so you don't miss the new weekly presentations. If you would like to order 5 inches by 7 inches copies of these photos from the original, you can specify which photos you would like to receive. Laboratory quality. Enjoy your viewing. The Tiger II was a German heavy tank of the Second World War. The final official German designation was Panzerkampfwagen Tiger Orsf. B, often shortened to Tiger B. The Ordnance Inventory designation was SD.Kfz. 182. SD.Kfz. 267 and 268 for command vehicles. It was also known informally as the Königstiger, German for Bengal Tiger and also, literally, King Tiger. Contemporaneous Allied soldiers usually called it the King Tiger or Royal Tiger. The Tiger II was the successor to the Tiger I, combining the latter's thick armor with the armor sloping used on the Panther medium tank. The tank weighed almost 70 tons, and was protected by 100 to 185 mm, 3.9 to 7.3 in, of armor to the front. It was armed with the long barreled, 71 calibers 8.8 cm KWK 43 anti tank cannon. The chassis was also the basis for the jagged Tiger turretless Yacht Panzer anti tank vehicle. The Tiger II was issued to heavy tank battalions of the Army and the Waffen SS. It was first used in combat by 503rd Heavy Panzer Battalion during the Allied invasion of Normandy on the 11th of July 1944. On the Eastern Front, the first unit to be outfitted with the Tiger II was the 501st Heavy Panzer Battalion, which by the 1st of September 1944 listed 25 Tiger II's operational. The Panzer Kampfwagen III, commonly known as the Panzer III, was a medium tank developed in the 1930s by Germany, and was used extensively in World War II. The official German ordnance designation was SD.Kfz. 141. It was intended to fight other armored fighting vehicles and serve alongside and support the similar Panzer IV, which was originally designed for infantry support. Initially the Panzer III had the same 3.7 cm gun as the infantry used for anti-tank work but later models were given 5 cm gun. However, this was the largest gun that could be fitted within the limitations of the turret ring and it was insufficient against Soviet T-34 and KV-1 tanks. Instead the Panzer IV which had a larger turret ring, was redesigned to mount the long-barreled 7.5 cm KWK-40 gun and became the main German tank. The Panzer III effectively swapped roles with the Panzer IV, from 1942 the last version of the Panzer III, Panzer III N, mounted the short-barreled 7.5 cm KWK-37 liters 24 that the first Panzer IVs had been fitted with. Production of the Panzer III ceased in 1943 but the Sturmschutz 3 assault gun which had been developed from the Panzer III chassis continued in production until the end of the war. The Tiger I was a German heavy tank of World War II that began operational duty in 1942 in Africa and in the Soviet Union, usually in independent heavy tank battalions. It gave the German army its first armored fighting vehicle that mounted the 8.8 .8 cm KWK-36 gun, derived from the 8.8 .8 cm Flak-36, the famous 88 feared by Allied troops. 1,347 were built between August 1942 and August 1944. After August 1944, production of the Tiger I was phased out in favor of the Tiger II. While the Tiger I has been called an outstanding design for its time, it has also been called over-engineered, using expensive materials and labor-intensive production methods. In the early period, the Tiger was prone to certain types of track failures and breakdowns. It was expensive to maintain, but generally mechanically reliable. 
It was difficult to transport and vulnerable to immobilization when mud, ice, and snow froze between its overlapping and interleaved shuttle loaf work pattern road wheels, often jamming them solid. This was a problem on the Eastern Front in the muddy Rasputitsa season and during periods of extreme cold. The tank was given its nickname Tiger by Ferdinand Porsche, and the Roman numeral was added after the Tiger II entered production. The initial designation was Panzerkampfwagen vi Ausführung H, literally Armored Combat Vehicle vi Version H, abbreviated PZKPFW vi Ausf. H, where H denoted Henschel as the designer slash manufacturer. It was classified with Ordnance Inventory Designation SD.KFZ. 182. The tank was later redesignated as PZKPFW vi Ausf. In March 1943, with Ordnance Inventory Designation SD.KFZ. 181. The Panzer II is the common name used for a family of German tanks used in World War II. The official German designation was Panzerkampfwagen II, abbreviated PZKPFW II. Although the vehicle had originally been designed as a stopgap while larger, more advanced tanks were developed, it nonetheless went on to play an important role in the early years of World War II, during the Polish and French campaigns. The Panzer II was the most numerous tank in the German Panzer divisions at the beginning of the war. It was used both in North Africa against the Western Allies and on the Eastern Front against the Soviet Union. The Panzer II was supplanted by the Panzer III in four medium tanks by 1940-1941. By the end of 1942, it had been largely removed from frontline service and it was used for training and on secondary fronts. The turrets of the then obsolete Panzer is and Panzer II's were reused as gun turrets on specially built defensive bunkers, particularly on the Atlantic Wall. Production of the tank itself ceased by January 1944, but its chassis remained in use as the basis of several other armored vehicles, chiefly self-propelled artillery and tank destroyers such as the Vespa and Marda II respectively. Michael Whitman, the 22nd of April 1914, the 8th of August 1944, was a German Waffen SS tank commander during the Second World War. He is known for his ambush of elements of the British 7th Armoured Division during the Battle of Villers Bocage on the 13th of June 1944. While in command of a Tiger I tank, Whitman allegedly destroyed up to 14 tanks, 15 personnel carriers and two anti-tank guns within 15 minutes before the loss of his own tank. The news was disseminated by Nazi propaganda and added to Whitman's reputation. Whitman became a cult figure after the war thanks to his accomplishments as a panzer ace, a highly decorated tank commander, part of the portrayal of the Waffen SS in popular culture. Historians have mixed opinions about his tactical performance in battle. Some praised his actions at Villas Bocage, while many others found his abilities lacking, and the praise for his tank kills overstated. He was credited with destroying 138 enemy tanks in his career. The Panther tank, officially Panzerkampfwagen V Panther, abbreviated PZKPFWV, with Ordnance Inventory Designation, SD.KFZ. 171, is a German medium tank of World War II. It was used on the Eastern and Western fronts from mid-1943 to the end of the war in May 1945. On 27 February 1944 it was redesignated to just PZKPFW Panther, as Hitler ordered that the Roman numeral V be deleted. In contemporary English language reports it is sometimes referred to as the Mark V.
The Panther was rushed into combat at the Battle of Kusk in the summer of 1943 despite numerous unresolved technical problems, leading to high losses due to mechanical failure. Most design flaws were rectified by late 1943 and early 1944, though the bombing of production plants, increasing shortages of high-quality alloys for critical components, shortage of fuel and training space, and the declining quality of crews all impacted the tank's effectiveness. Though officially classified as a medium tank, at 44.8 metric tons the Panther was closer in weight to contemporary foreign heavy tanks. The Panther's weight caused logistical problems, such as an inability to cross certain bridges, otherwise the tank had a very high power-to-weight ratio which made it highly mobile. Balthazar Wall Born on 1 September 1922 in Wemetsweiler in the Saar, the son of a simple workman, he chooses to become an electrician. He volunteers for the Waffen SS on 15 August 1941. He serves as an MG gunner in the 3rd SS Panzer Division Totenkopf, in the Dimjansk pocket. He is wounded and taken for hospitalization in Germany. He receives the Dimjansk's Child Award. While an SS Sobershut he is awarded the Ek-2 on 3 July 1942. After his convalescence, he becomes gunner of Panzers and rejoins at the end of 1942 Heavy Tiger Division. Later on after the Kusk combats of July 1943, he is considered of being one of the best Tiger gunners. On 14 October 1943 he receives the Ekai and on 9 November 1943 he is promoted to SS Rottenfuhrer. As Whitman's gunner, he receives on 16 January 1944 the Night Cross. At that time he had destroyed a number of 80 armored vehicles, 107 anti-tank guns, several artillery pieces and a position of heavy mortars. January 1944 he is promoted to SS Unterschafira. He receives a head wound in Normandy. He then is transferred to the Castle of Holt for supervising the formation of new gunners, drivers, loaders and panzer commanders. Balthazar Wall was Michael Whitman's gunner and ace in Tiger 131 in SS Liebstunder to Adolf Hitler, who had 100 confirmed kills. After war continue work as electrician. Balthazar Wald died in 1996. The Panzer Kampfwagen 4, PZ.KPFW. 4, commonly known as the Panzer 4, is a German medium tank developed in the late 1930s and used extensively during the Second World War. Its ordnance inventory designation was SD.KFZ. 161. The Panzer IV was the most numerous German tank and the second most numerous German fully tracked armored fighting vehicle of the Second World War. 8,553 Panzer IVs of all versions were built during World War II, only exceeded by the Stug III assault gun with 10,086 vehicles. Its chassis was also used as the base for many other fighting vehicles, including the Sturmschutz IV assault gun. The Yacht Panzer IV self propelled anti tank gun, the Wire Bellwind self propelled anti aircraft gun, and the Brumbar self propelled gun. The Panzer IV saw service in all combat theatres involving Germany and was the only German tank to remain in continuous production throughout the war. It was originally designed for infantry support, while a similar Panzer III was to fight armoured fighting vehicles. However, as the Germans faced the formidable T-34, the Panzer IV had more development potential, with a larger turret ring to mount more powerful guns, so it swapped roles with the Panzer III whose production wound down in 1943. The Panzer IV received various upgrades and design modifications, intended to counter new threats, extending its service life. Generally, these involved increasing the armor protection or upgrading the weapons, although during the last months of the war, with Germany's pressing need for rapid replacement of losses, design changes also included simplifications to speed up the manufacturing process. The Panzer IV was partially succeeded by the Panther medium tank, which was introduced to counter the Soviet T-34, although it continued to be a significant component of German armored formations to the end of the war.
Assault guns were primarily developed during World War II by the forces of Nazi Germany in the Soviet Union. Early in the war, the Germans began to create makeshift assault guns by mounting their infantry support weapons on the bed of a truck or on obsolete tanks with the turret removed. Later in the war, both the Germans and the Soviets introduced fully armored purpose-built assault guns into their arsenals. Early on, the Soviets built the KV-2, a variant of the KV-1 heavy tank with a short-barreled 152 mm howitzer mounted in an oversized turret. This was not a success in battle, and was replaced with a very successful series of turretless assault guns, the Su-76, Su-122, and the heavy Su-152, which were followed by the ISU-122 and ISU-152 on the new heavy tank chassis. The primary German assault gun was the Sturm Schutz 3, Stug 3. At about the same time, March 1942, as the howitzer-like KWK-37 gun was dropped from the Panzer IV's use, its Sturm Kanon equivalent in the Stug 3 up to that time, was likewise replaced with a longer-barreled, high-velocity dual-purpose 75mm gun that had also been derived from the successful Pac-40 anti-tank towed artillery piece. The Germans also built a number of other fully armored turretless assault guns, including the Stug 4, Stug 33B, Brombeer and Sturm Tiger. The latter two were very heavy vehicles, and were built only in small quantities. Battalions of assault guns, usually Stug 3s, commonly replaced the intended Panzer Battalion in the German Panzer Grenadier divisions due to the chronic shortage of tanks and were sometimes used as makeshifts even in the panzer divisions. Independent battalions were also deployed as stiffeners for infantry divisions, and the Stug 3's anti-tank capabilities bolstered dwindling tank numbers on the eastern and western fronts. France Hack, 3 February 1915, 9 June 1997 was a Nobish Turmbonfuhrer, Lieutenant Colonel, in the Waffen SS during World War II, Battalion 9th SS Panzer Grenadier Regiment Germania. Franz Hack was awarded the Knight's Cross with oak leaves and the close combat clasp in gold. He ended the war as the commander of the 10th Steamship Panzer Grenadier Regiment Westland, 5th Steamship Panzer Grenadier Division Viking. Hack died in Hamburg, Germany in June 1997. Rings and numbers. It is a common belief among Ponts of Offer history buffs that all crew commanders kept count of their victories. Many even painted rings on the barrels of their tanks and assault guns, corresponding to the number of enemy tanks destroyed. Werner Wendt, tank commander in the 101st, later 501st, SS Heavy Tank Battalion. The number of destroyed tanks was transferred to headquarters. General lists were kept here. Most commanders did not pay attention to these numbers. The tank was rarely used alone. Therefore, several tanks were brought in to destroy one enemy tank. So there are no exact details about which tank knocked out this or that enemy vehicle. A number of tank commanders also stated that they did not even know how many tanks they had knocked out. For example, Otto Karius, in an interview with historian Roman Topol, said that he never named the number of tanks he destroyed, and could not have named them. According to his personal estimates, there are about 100 of them, but this cannot be confirmed. When receiving awards, the number of destroyed tanks was assessed differently than victories in the Luftwaffe and Kriegsmarine. For example, fighter pilots received the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross for a certain number of victories in the air and submariners received the Knight's Cross for the total tonnage of ships sunk. In the ground forces and the Waffen-SS at lower levels of command, things were a little different. 
The Knight's Cross was usually awarded for an individual act committed on one's own initiative and which decisively influenced the outcome of the battle. Achievements to obtain it were not cumulative. If any successful tank crew painted rings on the gun barrel of their vehicle, this was rather an exception. Thus, Horst Naumann, who served during the war in several battalions of assault guns, wrote. Neither I, nor other commanders, nor any battalion where I served, had rings on the barrels indicating the number of destroyed enemy vehicles. Of course, everyone understood that upon seeing such a tank, the enemy would want to destroy it as quickly as possible, concentrating all the artillery fire on it. Alfred Rubble, describing the customs in the 503rd Heavy Tank Battalion, recalled. It was forbidden for us to draw rings. In the end, we didn't want the Russians to see what this man had done before, when such a tank drove into the battlefield. Although there are famous photographs of tanks and self-propelled guns with rings on their barrels, for example, Michael Whitman's Tiger, shown in a German broadcast in 1944, had 89 rings painted on its barrel. However, you need to understand that they were placed there solely for filming for propaganda purposes. Neither the Tiger in which Whitman led his company in Normandy in June 1944, nor the one in which he died on August 8, 1944, had any rings on the barrel. Marder III was the name for a series of World War II German tank destroyers. They mounted either the modified ex-Soviet 76.2mm F-22 model 1936 divisional field gun, or the German 7.5cm Pac-40, in an open-topped fighting compartment on top of the chassis of the Czechoslovakian Panzer 38T. They offered little protection to the crew, but added significant firepower compared to contemporary German tanks. They were in production from 1942 to 1944, and served on all fronts until the end of the war, along with the similar Marder II. The German word Marder means Martin in English. In the early stages of Operation Barbarossa, the Wehrmacht felt the need for a more mobile and more powerful anti-tank solution than the existing towed anti-tank guns, such as the 3.7 cm Pac-36, or self-propelled tank destroyers, such as the Ponzer Jäger I, mounted with the 4.7 cm Pac-T. This need became urgent in 1942, when anti-tank shells fired from said anti-tank guns failed to penetrate the armor of new Soviet tanks, such as the T-34 and KV-1. As an interim solution, it was decided to use captured French vehicles, such as the Lorraine, Marder I, obsolete tanks in surplus, such as the German Panzer II, Marder II, and Czech-supplied Panzer 38T, Marder III, as the base for the production of makeshift tank destroyers. The result was the Marder series, which were armed with either captured Soviet 76.2mm F-22 model 1936 divisional field guns, or German 7.5cm Pac-40 anti-tank guns mounted in later versions. Due to weight, space, and time constraints, the Marder series had relatively thin armor when compared with other armored vehicles of the era. This thin upper armor formed a gun shield, only protecting the crew from shrapnel and small arms fire on the front and sides. All Marder series had open tops, although some were issued with canvas tops to protect the crew from the elements. In this regard, the Marder was more of a gun carriage than a proper Ponzer Jäger that could exchange fire with enemy tanks. The 5th SS Panzer Division Viking, German, 5. SS Panzer Division Viking, or SS Division Viking was an infantry and later an armored division among the 38 Waffen SS divisions of Nazi Germany. During World War II, the division served on the Eastern Front. It surrendered on 9 May 1945 to the American forces in Austria. The division contained small contingents of foreign volunteers from Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Estonia, Iceland, the Netherlands and Belgium. These contingents were elevated in wartime propaganda and post-war mythology, including from the former German officers of the division, to give the Viking division the reputation of a pan-European force. In truth, the division was at all times equipped with a vast majority of German personnel. 
The division took part in Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union, advancing through Galicia, today's Ukraine. In July and August, Viking participated in the encirclement battles at Uman and Kiev. Later in August, the division fought for the bridgehead across the Dnieper River at Dnepropetrovsk. Finally, the division took part in the heavy fighting for Rostov on Don before retreating to the Mias River line in November, to hold for the winter. In February 1942, the Soviet winter offensive had established breakthroughs on either side of the transportation hub of IZM. A Kampfgruppe was formed around the 1st Battalion of the Germania Regiment and the division's assault gun battery and sent north to help contain the Soviet thrusts. By the 25th of February, this Kampfgruppe was virtually annihilated in defensive battles near Izium against superior Soviet armored forces. Ultimately the front had been stabilized however, and conditions had been set for the devastating Axis counterattack at the Second Battle of Kharkiv a few months later. During the spring of 1942, the division received reinforcements for the coming offensive, including a battalion of Finnish infantry and a battery of Stug 3s to replace earlier losses. In early June 1942, Viking received its Panzer Battalion, making it among the first SS divisions to be given its own armored contingent. The Panzer Battalion had just under 60 tanks, and was made up of two companies of Panzer 3s and one company of Panzer IVs. The battalion was commanded by veteran SS officer Johannes Camp. The Turan tanks were a series of Hungarian medium tanks of World War II. They were produced in two main variants, the original 40M Turan, or Turan I, with a 40mm gun and later the 41M Turan, or Turan II, with a short-barreled 75mm gun, improved armor and a new turret. A total of 424 were made. The 40M Turan, Turan I, was originally inspired by and used the technology-based solutions found on the design of the Czechoslovak Skoda T-21 medium tank prototype. The Turan tanks fought on the Eastern Front against the Soviets, and in the defense of Hungary. A further upgraded prototype variant, the 43M Turan, or Turan III, was also developed and constructed but did not go into mass production. This had a powerful long-barreled 75mm gun, further improved armor and again had a new turret. Prototypes were manufactured, but work on the project stopped in 1944 when the mass-producing terminated in the country.